Good morning, ladies. How are you? Today is Friday, so it's our last day of live training today before next week. And today, since it is Friday, we talk networking on Friday. So today we're going to talk about how to nurture and expand your community while in isolation. Because <laughs> it's still possible, I promise. So if you have any networking questions specifically, um, if you can put them in the comments, that would be great. I'm going to see and make sure the comments are working as always. Um, I see some people already tuning in. If you are watching, can you please send me a comment so that I know that it's working? Good morning. Okay. And as always, while we wait for some more people to get on, I will tell you my routine. This morning, didn't have the best routine because it was Friday and I wanted to lay in bed longer. And so what I did this morning, I did my gratitudes, meditation, snuggles with my cat and uh, my boyfriend and just like smiled and did a love meditation. And that was my morning routine. So it wasn't too complicated this morning, but not upset about it. And I'm still ready to conquer my day. And so when we were talking about routines in one of our first sessions, we talked about really how your morning routine is. Oh, awesome. Shannon, thanks for commenting so that I know it's working. And so the importance of your morning routine is really to build that foundation so that you have that like stability and emotional security throughout your day. So when things happen, you don't get hijacked as easily. So welcome Shannon. Hello ladies for being here. Today we are going to dive right in and chat about networking. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment box so that I can answer them as we go along. And so the first thing I want to tackle with regards to networking is I'm going to do a quick recap of last week in case you missed it because we're going to build on it. So last week we talked about how to network and the fundamentals of knowing who you want to network with, knowing the qualities that you want um, to network with, the types of people, and also keeping in mind three different categories. There is the category of networking with people that are just behind you in your experience so that you can mentor them and help them along their journey. People that are at a similar stage as you so that you can bounce ideas off each other and really come together and grow together. And then there's the people that are just ahead of you. And those are usually your mentors and coaches to help guide you along the journey. So it really creates this really nice full picture when you have all three categories because you're giving and receiving and collaborating. It's really beautiful. So the importance of knowing who you want to network with it was really important, it is really important for two reasons. Number one, it helps you to also become that person. If you know who you wanna network with, it will help you to step into that person every day. It'll also help you to know where are these people and where can I find these people? And it'll help you to be more specific when you're asking for a referral. So just to give a quick example, if you were to ask, I'm gonna use Shannon's name because she just commented in the box, hey Shannon, do you know a woman who is interested in joining the ladies? Well, Shannon doesn't, nothing is coming to mind because I haven't given her enough information. But if I say, hey Shannon, do you know someone who just moved to Toronto and or who's in a transition in her life, maybe she just lost her job or she um, she's looking for something more, she's launching a new business or she just got a divorce and she might be looking for other women to communicate with and to collaborate with. Well, then she's thinking because I've triggered her. So people want to help you, but you have to be really specific in your ask in order for them to help you. Okay, so that was a recap of last week. If that interests you, go back and look at last week. Today, we're gonna to talk about nurturing your community and expanding your community while at home because it is very possible. So number one, you have a community. Whether you believe it or not, you already have some sort of community. That community might be one person, <laughs> it might be 10 people, it might be 50 people, thousands of people. We all went to, you know, many of us went to school of some sort, elementary, high school, maybe post-secondary, you've worked somewhere. 
and or you had some friends and maybe you have some family and or neighbors and you live around people. We're interacting with people on a daily basis. So my first challenge for you today is to reach out this week, okay, to 50 people that you know and or have known. And it might you might be feeling like, oh my God, this is so poor awkward, or I don't know 50 people. You know 50 people, okay? Look, I guaranteed you have more than 50 people on your Facebook friends right now and or your Instagram, okay? So go through your Facebook, go through your Instagram, whatever social media platform you use. I mean, we're here right now on a social media platform. And so go to 50 people and reach out to them. In And number one, which we always talk about in all of our workshops is intention. Open your heart, be a loving human, reach out to them as a loving human and just check in. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Is there anything I can help you with? You know, hey, I just thought of you and wanted to send you love. It is okay to reach out and send good vibes. We all love those messages. I wish I got them more often. I try to send them when I can. And so reach out to 50 people, nourish the network and the people that you know already. And I need to do this more often too. So I'm actually going to do this with you. So I'm going to reach out to 50 people. I'm going to try to do it even today. Just get it going and reach out and just check in. Hey, how are you? How are you doing right now? When we're filming this training, it's during quarantine. So, hey, how are you holding up? You know, do you need anything? Is there anything I can do for you? Just sending you good vibes, sending you love. Whatever that sounds like to you, check in and send love and good intention. Okay, and ask how you can help them. This isn't about you, you know, getting something from these people. It's just you being a good human and expanding your network. And we talked about this last week in networking as well. Okay, the second thing now, how to expand your community while in quarantina. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the different social media platforms and give you some ideas, and then I hope this helps you. If you ladies have any questions, again, put it in the comments and we can talk. So first let's chat about Facebook. So one overall, oh, so cute. Someone reached out to me already. Thanks, Revis, we'll chat later. And so within your social media platforms, a general comment is have the same picture on all of your social media platforms. This will unify them and it makes you more consistent so people know who you are and they're not wondering. I actually had reached out to someone and I, I, and I thought I didn't know them and I did. I just didn't even recognize them from their social media picture. <laughs> so make sure you're easier to access and keep all of your social media pictures the same and make it obvious that it's you. Your social media is about you um, connecting, especially in business. And if you have like a cartoon or pictures of your kids, that might be awesome for personal, but if you're using social media to network, to expand your network, your community, make sure people know that it's you. It makes it a little bit easier. So let's chat Facebook. Okay, so Facebook, there are Facebook groups that you can join and connect with. And I'm gonna give you some tips how to connect in those groups, the ladies community included. And, okay, let me start with that before I move on to the next one. So Facebook groups. Within Facebook groups, my, my suggestion for you, if you want to network within Facebook groups, number one is be specific. We already talked about this. Know who you want to connect with and ask, you know, hey, ladies, I'm in New York. I'm looking to connect with other entrepreneurs who are growth minded, who have an interest in, you know, fashion and beauty or I'm looking to connect with other women in LA who also work in the um, entertainment industry and who want to meet and expand and collaborate. So be specific in your ask industry, the types of women that you want to connect with and actually post that. You know, there we get so many requests even within TLC, like, hey, I want to meet more people in Boston or Vancouver. Post about it, ask reach out to those people and pull them out because they want to be reached out to as much as you do. Okay. So number one is put a post. Number two is start a discussion. The best relationships are made when you can start some sort of conversation or discussion. So think about something that you really enjoy. 
Um, it could be a book, The Untethered Soul. It can be yoga, meditation, and start a discussion and post a question about that topic of interest. So, hey, ladies, you know, who's read Eckhart Tolle's Power of Now? You know, what did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Or, hey, ladies, you know, tell me your favorite self-development book. I'd love to connect with other growth enthusiasts. You know, you ask a question and start a conversation. You can see even within the ladies community, I really try to start conversations often so that you ladies can connect with each other and also so that I can better understand you and understand your interests, understand what you're up to, and I can better serve you. So questions, number one, and number two, be specific about the ask and actually ask for the types of people you want to network with. So that's what I would recommend in Facebook groups. Even if you're going to an event virtually, you can post like, hey, ladies, I'm really into marketing. I'm actually attending this online marketing event by so and so. And I know this might sound strange because we're virtual, but does anyone want to go? Does anyone want to go with me? And then we can connect after and share notes or share what you know, resonated with us the most. Okay. I really like that suggestion. That was cute. That would be adorable. Imagine you just like, Hey guys, I'm going to this. Can we connect after and, and brainstorm and share notes, compare notes. So cute. Okay. The other thing to do on Facebook, and this will maybe push some of you out of your comfort zone, you know, on Facebook, on your newsfeed, it says people that you may know. Well, use that function. So I look at people all the time in there and I look at, do we have mutual friends? If we have mutual friends, I mean, most of those people are suggested because you have mutual friends. So the chances are you will go through those people and I just look at their pics and if they resonate a good vibe and they're just looking like a loving, awesome human, I mean, I just send them a friend request and then I send them a note and I say, Hey girl, you know, I hope this doesn't sound weird, but I'm really looking to connect with other like-minded, you know, entrepreneurs or boss babes on the internet. And I hope you don't mind that I sent you a friend request. I really liked your picture and you seem like a really cool lady. Okay, so just reach out and connect. I've actually started many friendships and connections just through looking at um, friends and random people. On, Insta on Facebook. Okay. It works. I'm telling you, look at their pictures. If you like their vibe, send them a note, send them a friend request and start the conversation. Okay. Some respond, some don't. And that's okay. The funny thing is, and maybe this isn't funny because of the world we just live in, is that some people just think you're trying to sell something <laughs> and that's okay. Let them have their thing. But if you're just being really good intentions and wanting to connect with someone and you like their picture and you want to truly network and you're good, you're coming from the right place, the right people will respond. It's all good. Just network and network because you want to meet people network because you want to help network because you want to share love, not because you want to make money and meet people and sell them your product. Okay. You can tell the energy is different behind that. Okay, the third way to connect on Facebook virtually is to put out an ask on your personal page and actually ask for a referral. This is similar to when you're posting in a Facebook group because you're saying, hey, ladies, I want to meet other entrepreneurs. And obviously you might be in entrepreneur groups or freelance groups or mommy groups. Maybe you want to meet other moms. So go into those appropriate groups. You're posting a a request of the types of people you want to meet. Same goes on your personal page. So you can say, Hey guys, you know, this is a shout out. I'm trying to expand my network and or meet other moms, entrepreneurs, fitness enthusiasts, whatever it is for you. And be specific. Who do you know? I have done this call out many times like, Hey girls, or Hey people, because I don't have just women on my or on my friend list. Hey guys, I'm looking to meet the other entrepreneurs who are the smartest, most badass women, you know, and then people will recommend their friends. And it's just really cool. That's actually how I met my lawyer. And you've seen her within TLC many times, Ashley froze. I literally did a call out 
And I think I was looking for speakers for a TLC event, but regardless, I just said, you know, I'm looking for badass women. Who do you know? Who's the smartest, most intelligent, you know, enthusiastic woman, you know, and someone recommended Ashley. And so you can do that. If you have a podcast or a way to collaborate, maybe you want to be doing some webinars or, you know, like I just said, podcasts or other lives and collaborations during this time, you can also ask for referrals in that way. But asking for referrals, again, be very specific of who you're looking for. Okay, easy. Okay, that's Facebook. We're going to move over to Instagram quickly. LinkedIn, now you'll start to see similarities between the different social channels when you're networking virtually. Okay, Instagram, LinkedIn, make sure your profile is updated. If you're looking for other people, other people are looking for you. So you want to make sure, you know, LinkedIn now, Instagram even, they're basically online resumes and online websites, including your Instagram description. Update your Instagram description on business day or another day. We can actually talk about Instagram audits and LinkedIn audits. If that's something you want, let me know. We can talk about that and website audits. Um, so within LinkedIn and Instagram, make sure you're updated, your profile's updated, people know who you are and people know what you do, okay? Again, consistent pictures. And, oh, one second, I have a question coming in, so I was just reading it, but let I'm gonna get to the question, let me finish the, you know what, let me do the question now. So thinking of collaboration, what if the other person is working with another professional in the same industry? I, I think that's totally okay. So it's really important within collaborations and networking, it, collaborations are collaborations. How can you help? And looking as, at competition as potential collaborations even people within the same industry you can collaborate with. Hey, I have this event idea. I don't want to do it alone. Would you want to do it with me? You can share communities. However, you want to make sure it's with the right people that are growth minded and that don't see you as competition and that authentically want to collaborate. We talked about this a few times already is knowing the right people and being genuine that they're just not trying to take from you and that it's a give, give, they're mutually beneficial relationships. If you aren't sure what their relationship is, I would just reach out and say, hey, I love your vibe. I know that you're also collaborating with so-and-so in this community, or you know, you're also collaborating with so-and-so. I'm not sure if that's a mutually, or if that's a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh my goodness, what is the word I'm looking for right now? If that is an exclusivity, so if you're working with them exclusively and or you're open to other collaborations, if you're open to other collaborations, you know, let me know. But what I think here, even in this question, is you might be taking it too far already. So unless you're asking for a specific collaboration, I'd really want you to think about what is your intention? Is your intention to collaborate or just expand your network? So if your intention is just to collaborate, that's cool, but I think you might be taking it one step too far already because then you're thinking of business or you're thinking of how you can help each other. Maybe just start with, hey, I like your vibe. Can we, let's connect. What are you up to? Is there anything I can do to help you? So start with just seeing how you can help them and if you want to collaborate. So the question specifically is for partnership. So we are moving a little bit further now because I really want to be talking about just expanding your network. But if we're talking about partnerships, it just ask them if they have an exclusivity and or if they're open to additional partnerships. Just be transparent and open to see what their, you know, what their current status is and how they run their partnerships and or ask them, you know, what do partnerships look like to you? Do you how many do you take on? What is what are you hoping to get from a partnership? Always asking them, what are you, ask them a lot of questions before you engage to also make sure it's the right partner for you. It's kind of like dating. 
Okay. But I'm going to take it one step back a little bit. And maybe if you ladies want to get right into partnerships and collaborations after we can, I wanted to be a little bit more general today on just expanding our network and coming from a place of connecting with other humans and people, because you never know where those connections are going to go. Your first question to, it depends if you know this person or you don't. And again, what your intention is, but your first question should always be like, tell me about you. What are your goals? How can I help you? Though that's normally where you go after you make the additional introduction, especially if it's cold. If it's warm, you might be able to talk business faster, but I really want us to focus on just expanding our network today and sharing love and it's building a community because it's really important, especially now, you know, we're all at home and we need community now more than ever. Does that make sense? Ravis, I know you were asking some questions. We can get a little bit more specific after I've talked about LinkedIn and Instagram quickly. And then if you have any more questions about partnerships, maybe I think it might be best to even do a full on training on partnerships and collaborations because there's quite a bit to talk about there. So with the with Instagram, same thing. Follow people that have a good vibe. Reach out to them. Compliment them tell like comment on their stuff, send them DMs, tell them you love their vibe, tell them you like what they're about. Ask them like, Hey, you know, what are some of your goals right now? Is there anything I can do to help you? What are you looking um, to do right now? Is there anything coming on the horizon that you're really excited about? I'd love to help with you, help you or collaborate in any way. Right? So just start those conversations about helping them and Really, just don't be scared to reach out to people that you like and connect with them. People love getting messages. They also love compliments. <laughs> so reach out to them and send them a compliment and just share love. And you'd be amazed how often LinkedIn and Instagram actually turn into friendships and partnerships and collaborations and something more. So that would be Instagram. Also, you can post same as you would on Facebook for recommendations. You can put on your feed, you can put in your stories, hey guys, I'm looking to connect with these people. You'll see on my Instagram all the time, like, hey, I'm looking for, you know, three entrepreneurs who are all, who are growth minded and who want to build a community, reach out to me, let me know. So knowing who you want to collaborate with and asking for those people, really important. Then we go on to LinkedIn. Same thing, just continue to expand your community, reach out to people, send people DMs, and make sure that your profile is updated. A really fun thing that is also becoming more popular, and you let me know what your opinion is about it, but voice notes and video notes. I'm a little on the fence with them because Sometimes I find if someone sends me a voice note and I can't listen to it, I'll forget about it or I'll listen to it, but I don't have time to respond. They definitely have to be, <clears throat> excuse me, in the right position to answer. So always using voice notes or always, always using video may hurt you in the long run because it may extend the communication time frame because people might not be able to respond right away. Text sometimes are easier to respond. However, throwing in the occasional voice note or video note really builds that relationship, makes you a human, and they can hear your intention. They can hear in your voice that you just want to meet someone cool and you just want to connect and you want to make that connection and help them. And so even if you, if you close your eyes, you can imagine if I were to send you a voice note to say, Hey, you know, I really love your vibe and just wanted to tell you you're doing an awesome job. And thanks for everything that you do. You're just spreading so much love and light. And I love it. Like what a nice message to get. So always looking at how you can give, be genuine in your connection and don't be afraid to reach out virtually via LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Does any of this help you and your exercise for today and for this week was to reach out to your current network, reach out to 50 people that you already have in your network, reach out, see how are you doing? What, you know, what are you up to? What have you learned during quarantine? And, or, you know, can I help you in any way? Are you struggling? I got you sending you love, 
So that was your exercise for today. I'm going to hop into the comments right now, see if people have any questions. So we do have, yeah. So you guys want to talk about partnerships and collaborations on another day done. Let's do that next Friday. And video and voice, not good for a larger audience rather than one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, a hundred percent. So it depends. So one-on-one, -on -one, you can send video notes and audio on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook. One-on-one, a hundred percent. I, what I would do for when you're talking about a larger audience, what do you mean by that? Because video is still very effective to send out to your email list. You can send a video. You could even do a video in a community that you have already. But you, if you're asking for a referral, I just want a little bit more clarification on this question. Because if you're asking for a referral and or you want something very specific, you want it. Think about the ease for the other person. If I'm asking for a recommendation, if I'm posting on my personal Facebook page and or in a general Facebook group, starting a discussion or asking for connections or contacts, I do not want to do a video or a voice note. I want to make it really easy. A lot of people look on their, when they look on their phone, they're not listening to audio. So you want to, if you're looking at user experience, it's a lot easier for them to just see one sentence that just says, hey, you know, looking for other moms in this area, you know, with kids under six, whatever it is, you know, who are some kick-ass moms you know? You just want it to be very easy for people to respond to you and, and to start a discussion with you. Sometimes video, <clears throat> excuse me, will make it a lot more difficult to start the discussion because they have to listen to the video, they have to listen to the audio, and a lot of people aren't listening when they're on their phones. That's why captions on videos are becoming so much more popular because people aren't, aren't really listening to things anymore. Does that answer your question with regards to larger audience and one-on-one? -on -one? I want to make sure I understood that correctly um, based on what a larger audience is. So we have some other people coming in. Hey, Shar, welcome. Thanks for joining us this morning. Any other questions about networking and expanding your network while in quarantine and at home? Have fun with it. It can be still so good. It's amazing that you can actually still make friends and essentially find, you're like dating other people, right? Online, um, friend dating. And you can then bring that to a Zoom chat or a FaceTime or you know some sort of live video and then continue to grow your relationship. It is kind of like dating when you're making new friends online and not. There are also apps that you can use. So if you didn't know this, the ladies community actually started on when I was on Bumble. Bumble is a dating app that also has a BFF part. And I wanted to meet more people, but I found Bumble really difficult because you're essentially friend dating and you don't really know that much through a picture. So I would get on Bumble and then I started some live events and I'd invite everyone I was talking to on Bumble. It was almost like speed dating for friends because then you could say, hey, like, come on out. We can all meet in person. We can all see if we like each other. I'll invite everyone I'm talking to on Bumble. You invite everyone you're talking to on Bumble. And then we'll just have this big girls night and see if anybody hits it off. <laughs> and that's how TLC started. So there's a lot that you can do online. I hope that helps you. I don't see any other questions coming in, but get online, fix your profiles, fix your pictures. A lot of people have good pictures that are commenting in here right now and, and reach out and be genuine and have a good intention when you're reaching out. And then don't forget about your current network because they're important too and they love you too. So spread love all around. And then next week, we're gonna dive a little bit more into partnerships and collaborations because that's an entire discussion on its own. I hope today helped you, sending you lots of love. Happy Friday, have a great weekend and we'll chat with you soon. Bye.